Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the weather pattern that we're in for this week is a very tranquil, kind of dry, storm-free one. In fact, I don't see a drop of rain now through at least Saturday and potentially into Sunday as well. That would be pretty rare considering our, our streak of wet weather on weekends. Look at Newport now with the clear skies. Temperatures, depending on location, are generally in the 40s, though a few spots, including in Providence, still in the uh, lower 50s. That's why I don't think we're looking at a widespread hard frost. But some areas, especially north and west of the city, may see a touch of it. So it's 50 in Providence while it's 6 degrees. Cooler in Coventry, Western Coventry, Boroughville is at 48 degrees, looking at 47 in Taunton. So outlying areas away from cities are getting down to the upper 30s, mid to upper 30s overnight. So frost advisory for inland areas north and west of Providence. A beautiful week ahead, dry skies through at least Saturday and potentially into Sunday as well. Bigger weather story, despite the chilly temperatures overnight, early tomorrow morning, significant warm up. It starts Wednesday, then it really kicks in uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Looking at temperatures, it'll be in the 70s. We'll see that in the seven day forecast. Uh, in fact, the average high for this time of year during the afternoon is 61. So, and we're in the ballpark tomorrow, but notice upper 60s on Wednesday. There we go, Thursday, Friday, Saturday in the 70s. So that's the warming trend. And then getting back to seasonably cool conditions by the latter part of the weekend on Sunday. It's quiet across New England and up and down the East Coast. So I want to take you out in the Atlantic briefly. We're still in hurricane season. Here's southern New England. That is Hurricane Tammy. At last check, had winds of 75 miles per hour. Bermuda right about here. So the, the forecast track now through Saturday actually weakens it to a tropical depression as it approaches Bermuda on Saturday. So good news there. We'll watch it, but really no big concerns for the U.S. East Coast. So we have this weather pattern change. When we talk about pattern, we're talking about the, the storm track of the jet stream, which essentially, this is the, the arrows right in here, is the storm track. The jet stream will ride well to our north. When that happens, it promotes dry and warmer weather here along the east coast in New England. It keeps the wet weather well to our west. Now let's talk temperatures overnight into tomorrow. And notice uh, pre-dawn hours, 4, 5, 6 in the morning, dropping down to the mid to upper 30s. So a definite chill to start the day, but sunshine warms things up rapidly during the afternoon. Most areas around 62, 63, which is pretty close to where we should be for this time of year. Tomorrow night is cool, but not as chilly as what we'll see later tonight, tomorrow morning. So sunshine tomorrow morning, really no weather issues with precipitation. Chilly start by 11 a.m. We're at 56 and then during the afternoon, real pretty day, sunny skies, just some fair weather clouds. Temperatures topping out in the lower 60s. Your precipitation chances zero. All right, bay forecast the wind light first north and south on shore at 10 to 15. All right, seven day forecast. Look at that stretch of weather with the warmer temperatures starting on Wednesday, really kicking in Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Daytime highs in the 70s then cooling back down on Sunday, partly sunny and a temperature down to uh, 64. Just when we thought the 70s were done until next spring, we've got several days this week. I think we've earned a week like this. Why not? For sure. All right, Tony, <laughs> thank you. Coming up.